EU agrees to Brexit extension to 31 January. Here's a summary of the article. The EU has agreed to extend Brexit until 31 January 2020, according to a tweet from the European Council President. It comes as MPs prepare to vote on proposals by Boris Johnson for an early general election on 12 December. The SNP and Lib Dems have also proposed an election on 9 December. The draft text of an agreement for the 27 EU ambassadors, seen by the BBC, also includes a commitment that the withdrawal agreement on the UK's exit from the EU cannot be renegotiated in future. The UK was due to leave the EU on Thursday, but Mr Johnson was required to request an extension from the bloc after Parliament failed to agree a Brexit deal. The PM had repeatedly said the UK would leave on the 31st of October deadline, do or die, but the law, known as the Ben Act, also requires him to accept the offer. The BBC's assistant political editor Norman Smith said the decision saw a no-deal Brexit taken off the table, which will increase the pressure on MPs to decide on a general election. This post received a score of 27,865, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Brexit is like one of those songs that is all build up but no climax. Five fake drops in a row. I'm gonna drop it, gonna drop it, wah, dot man I can't hear out of my left headphone. Turn them shits up. Just in case people want to rewatch this. Chappelle's show, Fisticuff. As is tradition, I'm starting to think the guy that posted that wasn't joking, but really from the future. Something along the lines of, the year is 2666, and the British PM travels to Brussels to request an extension on Brexit. Nobody knows how this tradition started. And that's where I lose it. The closing line was pretty good, too. In the grim dark future of the 41 St. Millennium, on the blasted surface of holy terror members of the Adeptus Administratum gather in an ancient tradition dating back to before the Great Crusade, before the Age of Strife and before the Dark Age of Technology a small section of barren and contaminated soil in the Northern Hemisphere is ritually granted an extension for legend passed down from time immemorial states that failure to do so would grant a foothold for chaos. Even in death I still negotiate, Venerable Dreadnought Boris Johnson. As part of the ritual three copies are carefully made of a set of ancient script, written in a long-forgotten language, known as Maize Agreement. Three times Venerable Dreadnought Boris must offer the copies unto the members of the Administratum and three times they must ritually refuse them. Then a dishonored member of the Imperial Guard must have the date of the next ritual tattooed upon his body. Legend has it that a hero, David Cameron, fought to forestall the attempted sundering, but Boris the Eldritch and Dark Lord Naraj used their witch-speak to confuse the decrepit minds of the ancient Terrans. Boris the Eldritch and Dark Lord Naraj, I was having a shit day till I read this, now my sides are in orbit ha ha thank you kind redditor. My father was a Brexit negotiator, and his father before him. Edit, this is the best thing to ever happen to me this week, thanks everyone. The year is 2192. That's pretty funny, but holy shit, there's a reply suggesting that universal healthcare is responsible for the Holocaust. What the actual fuck? Twitter was a mistake. You find that on any form of social media. Sure, but Twitter is especially bad since it's a first-come, first-served kind of thing with replies. Basically if you catch a hot post you can be one of the first to reply with whatever hot take you have, and no matter how few people agree with it, almost everyone will see it. At least all the other social media sites have likes or upvotes that sort that thing out, and make it not be the first thing you see. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.